Drummers, what's up? It's Alan here for another edition of DrumGrades.com. Today I've got a completely free lesson for you. We're going through the absolute classic Supersonic by the Almighty Gods Oasis. And it is an additional download from the Trinity Rock website for the initial grade. Obviously you guys know it's not in the initial book. What you have to do in order to get this song, should you want to, is go on TrinityRock.com, go to the online store, go to the select instrument bit, find drums, select the grade which is initial, and then you will see it there. And for a small amount of money, you will get the three versions of the track, demo, click, no click, plus a lovely written out piece of notation. And it's a great tune. And the reason I wanted to do this song, guys, is because Oasis have just released a new film, a new documentary called Supersonic, named after this exact tune, which details the incredible story of Oasis, their ups, their downs, and just in general, what an epic British indie rock band these guys were. I love them. Anyway, Supersonic, let's give this one a go. It's 100 BPM, it's of course an indie rock tune. We start off with a trashy hi-hat. Now some of you guys might not be familiar with that particular technique. It's basically where we have our hi-hat slightly open, so just a little bit of air between them. For some of you guys, you may now need to undo your hi-hat and lift it up a bit, but we create a little bit of space between the hi-hat, which takes us from this sound to this sound which as you can hear, just rocks everything up a bit. Sorry, got a bit carried away there. But you get the idea, just lift the, the, the hi-hats up a little and it will just rock everything you do up. So into the beat, we've got our basic straight eighth pattern, an eight beat, with our two basses on the three and, or you might say the fifth and sixth hi-hat of the bar. It would sound like this nice and slowly. Okay, maybe a little quicker. There we have it. And also for some of you guys, this next bar, you might see the little percent division sign. That means repeat the previous bar for you guys that haven't come across that yet. So in essence, what we do is we play that beat for three bars. We do it three times. Then we come to the end bar and it changes slightly. What we're doing is we're moving from an eight beat pattern in our right hand to a quarter note beat pattern. So we go from eight to four in a bar and these four are gonna be much slower. We're still trashy hi-hat, but we're gonna go like this. So one, two, three, and four. A very awkward little transition there because you go an eight beat into the slow down beat. That's gonna throw some of you, but just take your time, practice. That bar one more time, bar four. One, two, three, and four. Let's hear the whole line. One, two, three, four. And I love that bit because it just sets up the, the groove for the vocals to come in. I need two. And then we go into the verse. We're still trashy hi-hat here, guys. We're in line two, bar five. The beat is gonna carry on exactly the same. And so on. The only difference being in bar five, we're crashing in. We're crashing down to hi-hat. A little bit of an awkward manoeuvre that at first. But with a little bit of practice, you'll be fine. So we do that for basically seven bars, that beat. That takes us from bar five right through to bar 11, the end of bar 11. 
So four bars, then another three bars in line three. So seven of those in total. We come to the end of line three and we've got a really simple little fill all on snare drum. Coffee, tea, tea, coffee. Don't rush that one. So let's hear the whole of the third line. This is from bar nine. We're gonna do three bars of the beat into that fill. One, two, three, four. And there we have it. You can leave that hi-hat open or you might want to close it on the on the first beat of the fill. I kind of like that noise. I think it keeps the, the foundation there and rocks it up a little bit. Then it really kicks off. The, the euphoric chorus comes in. Bar 13, my friend said, we're crashing over to ride, okay? It sounds like this. Let's play the whole of the fourth line. There we go. So again, some of you guys may not have used the ride symbol up until this point. If you haven't, my ride is kind of over here at sort of like one, two o'clock on the kit. Um, yours might be a bit further over, sort of over here. Doesn't matter. Um, just maybe try and use the tip of the stick kind of about midway up because if you start using the shoulder on the edge, it can get a bit nasty. So be careful there. Let's break down the beat. First bar, we're crashing, moving over to ride, but we're just playing the same beat. As before, but the second bar changes ever so slightly. We're now doing two bases at the beginning on the one and, rather than just the first bass. So we get this. So it's kind of double bass, double bass. So those two bars together, bars 13 and 14. Simple as that. And then the, the third uh, bar of that line, which would be bar 15, again, just back to the first bar, minus crash, easy peasy. Sure you guys have got that already. Moving down onto the fifth line, bar 16, we have a half a bar of the beat. So we're basically going up to the fourth ride symbol of the bar, bass, bass, snare, ride. I have no idea why I just added a bass there. Let's try that again. So that'd be kind of like one and two and, or maybe one, two, three, four. Then we've got a wicked fill. It includes the bass drum, which I love. It's coffee, coffee, so don't speed up too much. It's snare, bass, snare, snare. So with the little bit of beat before, And there we have it. So that is the end of bar 16. Then we crash in again, just like we did at bar 13. And then we do the two bar phrase, just like we did at the start of the chorus in 13 and 14. Let's hear that. Down on to bar 19, which is line six one two three four five six yes line six bar 19 the lyric is nobody can see him again bar 19 easy peasy <laughs> carries on again a bit like bar 16 we've got half a bar of beat again this is bar 20 now guys we're in the middle of line six here we're gonna go bass bass snare ride just like we did in bar 16 Simple as coffee, coffee. Okay, guys, coffee, coffee. So maybe what we could do then is hear everything up to this point. So let's go back to bar 13 and hear all of that.
there we go. And then on to bar 21. Again, we're crashing into the B. We're now bottom line. We're doing half a bar of beat again, but this time it's only one bass at the beginning, as you can see. One and two and a bit like the Philip Bar 20, coffee, coffee, but now we're going high tom to snare. And then to finish off the piece, we're crashing back in to our standard beat. And then we've got a slightly tricky fill. We're playing the first beat on the ride and bass, but then the rest is of the bar is going to be a fill. So we're going ride, snare, 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 three snares. And I like to stick that right, left, right, left. So if you're a lefty playing a left-handed kick, you'd switch that. But for us right-handed people, right, left, right, left, because then that frees up the right hand to do the remaining part of the fill, which is just a simple coffee on high tom, followed by a coffee on floor tom. So that bit together. And then a nice crash to finish. So let's hear that fill again. And now maybe we could go from the one bar before that, which would be the crash at bar 23. Bottom line, by the way, guys. And I think the key thing there is to not forget the first ride and bass at the start of the fill on bar 24, okay? And just finish strongly on that crash. So maybe what we could do is hear the whole of the chorus all the way down to the end. One, two, three, four. There we have it, the chorus bar 13 all the way to the end. The tricky thing is the regularity of the fills. We get one fill after another, so you've got to be on your toes there. Uh, dynamic wise, we've got forte for the first line, mezzo forte for the verse, so it's nice to get a little bit of a difference there. And then we get forte all the way to the end of the song there, guys. So just to be clear on this, you are actually allowed to play this in the exam, by the way. This isn't just for fun. Um, you're more than welcome to download the music and, and the, uh, the songs, and you can play this as part of the exam. So you can have this alongside Black Betty and 500 Miles and Days and all those things. So if for any reason the songs currently in the book aren't really doing it for you or if you want another challenge or even if you've completed the initial exam and you just would like another cool song all you've got to do is go on to trinityrock.com find the store navigate through and you'll find this i love this song it's so much fun to play it's got that really euphoric chorus typical oasis isn't it uh, but yeah, that's everything guys. So that's the end of this completely free lesson on Supersonic just for you in celebration of the release of Supersonic by Oasis. Take care guys. I will see you soon. Happy drumming.